My interest in speech pathology comes from having several family members who had communication disorders. I have an autistic brother who's younger than I am and a cousin who had a severe hearing impairment so she communicates with sign language. So I thought that was cool. There's a lot of uh, personal motivation and satisfaction in a job well done. And when there are problems to solve, um, everyone jumps in to do that and try to figure it out. Over my time here at Pearson, I have been able to work shoulder to shoulder with some of the most passionate people on the planet. One of the things I always tell my customers is that we all in this together. So we have to be partners, not I'm a vendor, we're a partner. And I think if we continue to uh, look for that, building those relationships and so forth, that's, that's gonna get us, and that's gonna better society. I like working at Pearson because I truly feel and have always felt that Pearson has a purpose and that purpose is to help learners, to help patients. There, there's people behind the tests. It, they're not just names. It's not just numbers. There's people here who care, who are professionals in the industry that know how these measures can impact lives and th that we're, we're rooting for them and want them to be successful. There's so many infinite relationships here that you could have at Pearson and you're always going to meet somebody um, new. Um, and then you never know what's gonna come out of that relationship. You know, working at Pearson has been um, the best decision I've ever made. It's all, I mean, I absolutely, uh, I really care for the people that I work with. I think that my, my coworkers kind of care for me. I, I think that it's a, I think that the people that I work with are just awesome. And it's a constant reminder that I'm doing the right thing. The thing that gets me the most excited and feeling good about what we do, uh, that's an easy question to answer. It's when we hear from a customer about how something helped them. We look at the whole learner um, from the perspective of behavior needs, education needs, special education needs, just to make sure that we're providing the tools and resources for that learner and those educators to be successful. Pearson is big, but we also have these intimate business units, and clinical is one of them. And the work that we do, you know, really is intimate. You know, uh, we have great people that work here. Everybody knows a child who's in, who's been in special education. Everybody knows a, a kid who uh, had uh, some speech difficulty. Everybody knows someone with, uh, or knows of somebody who's going through uh, an addiction issue. These are, these are the type of people who, that end up benefiting the most from, from what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. We help them peel the onion back a little bit and figure out what, what's at the, at the heart of it and then they can make treatment-based decisions. That's, that's who we impact. Having seen what goes into the development of these assessments, I know that we're gonna be making the absolute best instrument and most sensitive instruments that we can. There's, there's a lot of stigma out there when it comes to mental health. And so one of my jobs, and that's why I stayed with Pearson, was to show my community uh, that you know, we need the help. We need to seek professionals who understand what mental health is all about. You know, there's when you talk about assessments or tests, there's tests that you know measure people to get into college or something like that. Ours are focused on individual people, so those are the ultimate clients of our customers. People are busier than ever, um, have a lot on their plates, and I think anything we can do to show them that we are here for them and help it make it that much easier because they're really doing the heavy lift and making the different, all the differences in these children's and, and people's lives. I think it's important before we even begin to position a, pro a product to a client is to make sure we understand their needs. And we also understand where they are so that we can meet them where they are. For our customers, it's like they're purchasing from someone who had walked a mile in their shoes and they appreciate that. What's exciting is when someone comes by the booth and they take a look at what's taken us a year of planning and three to four years of development with lots of feedback and lots of decisions made. And they say, this is a piece I really hoped you were going to be able to include in the test. This is perfect for the kids. We're not gonna compromise on, on uh, uh, 
making our instruments the best that we can. I think the best thing that I can do is make people feel good about their job and how they're doing it and the tools that they have to be successful. And hopefully um, I have a little bit to do with that. Coming in 2020, we got a lot of new products coming out, and that's just going to help us, you know, meet more needs of our customers. These are the gold standard products. These are the products that they will need to help them be successful in their day-to-day. -day. And I think that it is more of a partnership that gets to that point of loyalty. We have to make sure that we're listening to our clients and providing the tools, the systems, the resources, the processes, and the services that make sense to those clients. We realize that a lot of things have to come together to change the world, especially in the ed field of education, and a lot of people are thinking hard on that every day, you know. <laughs>